All right, welcome back. This is the Youth Intake Hall of Fame Challenge. I am your host, Jack City, and this is the good brand Christensen story. We have just had a nice long summer. It took me quite a while to deal with all of the things that are going on in the club. There's a lot still to be going on, so please stay tuned. Fact is, um, we had, yeah, we had so much happen. We had so much happen. So let's go first into whom is no longer here first we're gonna say is bergendorf uh unfortunately thomas bergendorf decided decided to not sign a new contract he wanted uh nothing to do with us whatsoever so sure enough he is now still a free agent and the season's just about to start so you know it is what it is he decided he didn't want to do it whatever Frederick Jurgensen. Here we go. He also was asking crazy money, and I mean like a hundred thousand dollars. It's it was too much. I couldn't justify it because of the fact that we have replacements who can fill his role. And uh yeah, so you know, Frederick Jurgensen, he is now gone, unfortunately. So, you know. We cut two players who are actually quite, uh, one of them, Bergendorf, very, very important to us. And the other one, uh, you know, pretty important to us. So here's the other thing too, is that for the staff, I basically culled the entire staff. I got as many, rid of as many people as I possibly could and then substituted them with player or coaches from the, from the lower reaches of the game and, you know, signed them on, you know, they were previously had an amateur contract who had decent, you know, decent skills. And yeah, I mean, our coaching is much, much better. You know, our scouting is much better. Our, uh, our recruitment is better as well. So overall, I'm actually quite happy with this in the sense that we're now getting more for less. But I will say is that next year, I'll be getting rid of my assistant coach. He's on 103,000. And that is just absolutely way too much to be paying. Also, considering the fact that I'm only earning sixteen thousand, the rest of them, you know, seventeen, thirteen, you know, four point eight, eight point two, you know, twenty eight and a half. You know, there's we we still got some ways to go, but I was able to re relieve the duties of the people that I could. So there's that. The B team. Uh, basically, I just got rid of anybody who was not performing and called all of the staff there. U 19s same thing. Just cut all of the staff. Just let them all go. Uh, it was the unfortunate but correct thing to do. Uh, we have to cut. We have to cut wages. We had to cut wages. But I will say is that because of the fact that we had two major departures and I'm calling all the staff, that means I have to promote everybody to the first team and then try to see if I can, you know, basically just get a loan army out there. So I got five loans out at the moment. You know, Keld Skov, which I am excited about him in the future. And also, I did not realize last episode that this guy is five foot one and 123 pounds. He is so tiny. And maybe I'm, I'm actually not sure about this feature in the game, but since he's 16 years old, maybe he will grow into his body, hit puberty for once. So, next one, Jakob Korsgaard, you know, and Philip Gasberg, Otterson Andreasen, and then David Croak. Uh, David Krogh, currently not registered. Okay. Um, he went to Little Fart, who is actually currently in the division and just going into the division quickly. The two teams that just dropped down, uh, we will be seeing Lingby and Silkeborg come down from the Superliga. But the two teams who came up are now going to be Arus Framad and Middle Fart. So it was interesting because David Krogh from last season, he, we loaned him there and then he got them promoted, which was pretty cool, actually. So, you know, he's now there again, so, you know, and they were happy with uh, the way he performed last, last at uh, the end of last year. So it's that. And then now let's go to the squad. Uh, actually, no, the, the transfers here. Transfer history. As you see, we had a ton of loans out, but we also sold Max Helgard. I could not get any more for him. I swear I drummed as much as I could. He's got a year left on his contract. So I knew that this is the window to sell him because next window, it becomes about six months. 
and he will no longer be wanted because they can just sign him on a free. So I sold him um, to Orsons, who are now in the Superliga. He's already got two, and he's performing incredibly well. That is promising. I did not know that. But uh, going to the clauses here, we got a few clauses. Uh, we'll do 5K for another 38 league appearances. And it seems as though from the first two games that he is actually a regular starter, which is helpful. 15% on his next transfer fee, which is awesome. We do need the cash flow. And then finally, uh, competition bonus. If Hobro will be do 4,000 if horses avoid relegation from the league. Um, and also makes 15 or more appearances, which that's fine. He's got 13 left to go to at least satisfy one part of that. Now, the rest of it. Um, yeah, just a bunch of loans. So the things, we got so much going on with our team. This is insane. So Marcus Allstrup requested to have a, a transfer. So our Danish American here, he wants out. I've, I'm going to do another offer out, but I've been doing this relentlessly. Actually, you know, I might just target. I'm going to target AC Horsens right now because that's the only team that ever sniffed around. And they're the only team that ever sniffed around for Marcus Allstrup, but, uh, you know, that was, that came and go out, went pretty quickly, but rough Janine Skipstead, you know, I tried to negotiate a new contract for Skipstead. He, no, not Skipstead. Sorry. Uh, rough Janine, he wants a crazy wage, like 50,000 and he's, he basically never starts games, so I don't know where this confidence is coming from. So, you know, I have no problem letting him go if he wants to, but it is what it is. So, we got that. Now, Hoyland, uh, I am going to probably have to pay a pretty penny to keep him around. He's 21 years old. He's very, 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 very good. Um, you know, so I might have to keep Hoyland around. Uh, it might have to pay him quite a bit. Soren Pedersen, I'll probably let go, you know, maybe loan him out. We'll see what happens, but he's unlikely to stay. He's 19 years old and not great. Uh, Tocom, I am still, he still has this agree not to be sold. You know, he's coming due, you know, at the end of the year. So I'm still very worried that I'm going to let go of this extremely talented player, which I'm willing to pay for. And yeah. I'm I'm willing to pay over a hundred thousand for this kid because he's he's that good, so we'll see. Uh, Thomas Hedda, he came to me and said I want to elevate a contract because of the fact that uh, we let go of Hilligard. So he thought to himself that he's going to be the logical succession plan, which was true. Now he's at thirty five thousand. He also had an extension on his contract, which I did extend on it, but he wants a contract you know, that reflects his ability. So what he wanted was something in the range of like 70,000 or so, which I think is just a bit too much. I would pay 60,000 or so for him, but you know, he came to me and said he wanted it. I told him I would give him the contract negotiations fell apart. So anyways, this is where we are. So he's unhappy. Jacob Brune, uh, I keep going to get him on loan. Can't do it. It's fine. Brian Anderson on loan for two different uh, teams. I am not a totally against it. I would not give him to Skeev, though, because he's a first division. But the fact is, though, is that this guy is, uh, he's currently operating at first division level, but he's easily going to be a Super League of Talent very, very soon. So, um, you know, his, his deal as of right now, crazily expired 13,000 uh expires 2029 and I do have a contract extension clause on it so I can be able to you know extend that out a year and he does have a minimum fee release clause which I'd be happy to take that amount if someone does want to pay it going forward Mustafa Maruf he wants crazy wages I it's uh yeah it's wild so I'm in negotiations with him yep grown uh, signed a new contract. He says he wants to be played in a specific role. He came to me to say that. Uh, these uh, sand, we just got, we just negotiated new terms that he'll be signing soon. Alan Hansen trying to be getting him on loan. He also looks like a really good talent as well. He's performed well in the uh, the preseason too. So I'm hoping to get him refined. 
Oscar Fraulo wants crazy money. I I don't know where he's getting this level of confidence. So if he if he wants to ask for those crazy wages, then I have no problem letting him go and just not paying them because that's it's he wants like ninety thousand. I don't know where he's thinking he's going to get that. Um, Jan Bukahava is still having a strop about not being loaned out last season, and I've been trying to loan him out this season, and he continues to reject people. So going on, Rasmussen Vind. Uh, honestly, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do. I think he will get a couple games here and there this season. Um, you know, see where he can take us. You know, he, he definitely needs to refine a little bit, but he's got decent physicals at this level and he's on the wing. So that'll be good. Jimmy killed guard. Same thing. He'll get a couple chances here and there. I'm excited to see what he can do. Oliver Haritz. I believe we can, did we No. Negotiations fell apart, but we were actually pretty close. We were pretty, we we're not too, too far away. So, I mean, I might have to pay an arm and leg for this guy because he is that good. And uh, that's fine. Ulrich Madsen, everything's going fine. Everything's good. I'm not worried about him. Nicholas Thompson, also, he's truly a talent. And I'm going to have to start negotiating a deal with him in the near future, which I might, might do so actually pretty soon. And then finally, yeah, Gasberg is, is out. So we've had a lot of requests, a lot of promises needing to be made, as you can see. I did make a promise to everybody that I'm going to play youth players, which is not going to be hard since we have so many of them in our team. And yeah, you can see offer new contract failed because things broke down. So that's that. That is everything that we have there. Uh, it has been an absolutely chaotic, just chop and change of staff st uh, trying to get squad players out on loan trying to negotiate contracts over and over again it's been a long long summer break but we're here and we're back in the first division expectations are mid table which is just fine with me and yeah we'll see where we can take with this because i'm excited we have a ton of great new talent we've also cut the finances by quite a bit uh, currently spending 1.2 million, which before it was somewhere in the range of 1.35. So we've been able to get quite a bit off the uh, the payroll, and we've gotten a couple cash injections, you know, as you can see here in this stretch. So everything's going great, everything's going well, and now we're gonna go on to our first game. And if I go to the newest season, Frederesia away. All right, we are here away from home at Fredericia season opener. This is your starting lineup. We got Marcus Hallstrup in net, even though he wants to leave. Henriksen on the right, veteran Holm in the middle, Ho uh, Hoyland on the left side, Sand on the right side for the midfield, Edda and Freudenlicht in the middle with Rallo on the left side due to injury with uh, Maruf. Thompson and Haritz up top. Uh, and then on the bench, Rav Chanin, Brian Anderson, Yep Grun, Kasper Polson, Jakob Brun, Danny Rasmussen Vind, and Jan Bukhava. We have a ton of issues and fitness problems coming into this due to just uh, assorted, you know, aches and pains and twinges and things like that going into this game. So, this is the lineup we have for the season opener. And we're underway. This is the season. Oh, this is the 2027 2028 season. First division in Denmark. And Bo home gets it away. There we go. There we go. It's a foul. Come on. Are we getting a highlight right away? Head it down and away. Henriksen and Sand able to link up. Edda. Henriksen. Sand. Yeah. Smart play. He's gonna play it all the way back. All struck. They still have it. Good. Oh, it's all the way up for <laughs> Tokeholm is able to put like punch those balls forward. Alright. It's in. Not it's headed away by Gertsen. Headed dumps it back forward and Enbo heads it away. Now Nambishi. 
Pressured by Hedda. Olive. Sampson. Gets a through shot. Wide. No problem. In case when we take them on, they're always, always dominating us. As you can see here, five shots to none early in this this game here. It's taken away, but Freudenlick, good. Hoyland. Hedda. Home. Ball up. Yeah. No, it's headed away, though. Erickson's up to it. Cute. Cute. Hedda. No, it's Haritz. Freundlich. No. Oh, my good Nielsen, what an amazing foot to stop that. Oh, my goodness. A little give and go for Sampson. He's on the mat. Oh, good. Good. He didn't have a good angle on that either. So... We'll take that. Just a just a clearance away. Borg is able to gather it. Get away, Freundlich. Freundlich. Holof. Okay, that's an interesting slide by Hoyland, but Holof is able to get through. Bumbled around. Samson. Oh, thank God, it's cleared away. But only to Borg. Puts it back in. It does get through, but. Henriksen clears it away. It's now only to Holof. This is constant pressure. It's a steaming in tackle by Freundlich, but nothing. It's Anbo on the far, on this uh, near side here. Nielsen, clear, nope. Ooh, and Nambishi puts it over. Constant pressure. A whole XG up. Right tag. Erickson, oh, it's right off Allstrup's face. He only really had two real chances, like two two solid chances that, to score thus far, but peppering the goal constantly, and that is not how you win it. You do not step away from the ball. Right tug. It's him and Henriksen. Bell and Simpson. Oh, it's just over. Constant, constant, constant. I cannot seem to get away with anything here. Um, yeah, regroup. Middle fart up on Fremadomager. So, we are lucky to be holding on as of right now, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that performance. It was honestly atrocious. It, it was really, really bad. Borg. Nielsen. Vetter heads it away, but it's only as far as Nielsen. Pumped in. Holof. Ooh. Alstrup able to save it, but drags it over the line for a corner. Erickson! It's in. I can't say it's not deserved. Blocked by Hoyland. It is cleared away, but Hearts can't get to it. Holof. Nambishi. Nielsen. This team looks so good. We're totally getting controlled. They have all the possession. Nielsen is their constant outlet pass as well. They're giving the Olays now. Oh. Allstrip di didn't see that until late. Hmm. Nielsen. Not oh, Vetter. Nambishi puts it back in. Freitag is there. Plenty of bodies in the box here. Nambishi! Oh, it squirrels under Allstrup and through Vetter. That's poor, too. That's poor, too. That should have been saved. I didn't want to see it again. That was horrific. Well, we have not played uh, even remotely up to standard here. So this is... Okay, yeah, Bukava. Hits it. Ooh. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. I mean, that was not nothing for sure. Groon. Holof. Game's over. Can't say... 
I mean, we didn't put a, a good team together today, so can't say that I, uh, I'm really that surprised. We were terrible. So let me, yeah, I'm going to, that was pretty, pretty bad. Let's just take some stock. So we just played that Fred Resi game uh, and got blown out, even though it was, you know, it was 2 nothing. but it is what it is. So I want to go and just go into the Hall of Fame, see where things are at the moment. Now, we can still see Pep Guardiola. Uh, he's currently at Inter. Is he winning anything for Inter? Two Italian Cup wins, okay, but no, no league titles. Anyways, uh, Paul Ancelotti, he's at Everton currently. Wow. Has he won anything for Everton? You're okay, the conference league. That's that's it. Interesting. Uh Hans Dieter Flick. Bayern Munich. Oh. Eight Super Cup wins, eight Bundesligas, two Champions Leagues. Yeah, this guy's going places. Wow. Two Pokal wins. Really? Only two? With that much dominance? You only got two? That's that is surprising. Uh Zinedine Zidane, he's still at Real Madrid. Uh, he's not really winning much. More, not as much as you think. You know, he he got this, but since the game started, I mean, he's got one Super Cup, one First Division. You know, he must be just getting second. I'm not sure. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, he's at City now. I think he just started there, so that's why. But yeah, tenth of all time. Uh. Munoz, Allegri, he's at Barcelona, okay, look at that, four first division wins, interesting, interesting indeed, uh, Louis van Hall's done, Pochettino, what's he doing, he's at Leipzig, hasn't won anything since PSG time, five league one titles, interesting, Gallardo and Filippao, Gallardo is at River Plate, dominating River Plate, I mean, Supercopa, Copa Argentina, two Copa Libertadores. Wow. Great stuff. So, anyways, that's the worldwide. Let me let me go narrow it down to what we're actually looking at. We're looking at the nation of Denmark. Stel Solbach is still the current team at Norway, not doing much there. Skovdal is not there. Paco Hemes currently. Uh Copenhagen. Last uh, last season, they won another Super League of titles. So that makes it five in a row. 2023, four, five, six, and seven. So they're on a run. Paco Jemez is now uh, the fourth best or the third best uh, coach to ever be in Denmark. Brian Prisk actually is uh, he's number four and he still has three Pokalins. He won the Pokalin last year. Um, so he's been a bit of a cup specialist, if you will, as of recently, you know, so yeah. And then, uh, Pokal in 2026. So they got the double the year prior, but, uh, Doldy Sorensen, Clavin, Hans Baca, William Barry Wright, nothing else. It's really this Prisk and Hemes making these, uh, charges up here in third and fourth, three super legal wins with KB, uh, I don't even know who these guys are. Where are they now? Lower leagues. Interesting. So let's go to the nationality of just Danish people. Now, uh, Brian Prisk, I'm not surprised that he's second. He's he's actually one off from being tied for first, you know, since Bronby, four Superligas and three Paul Collins. He's got three and three. So he's he's very much not off, not off the mark. Arn Sorensen, Michael Laudrup. He is currently still at Iceland, so he's not going to go anywhere. He's stuck at fifth. I mean, Iceland's not really going to go anywhere. But other than that, all right. So it's just Michael Laudrup and Brian Prisk uh, at the moment. And that is the update for the Hall of Fame. I do want to just look at one of the high-profile managers that we always talk about on this save. And in real life, he's also a big manager. Thomas Frank. Thomas Frank is at Brentford in real life. And... As of right now, this is the current weekend where Thomas Frank and Brentford destroyed and humiliated Manchester United for nothing. And I giggled intense, intensely. So, 
he got fired. Well, first off, he was uh, at Brentford and then from 2018 to 2022, fired after getting relegated and then it would, they were in the championship. He went to Randers, survived basically just a season in the Superliga in Denmark and then eventually got fired from there because of underperformance and then now then went to Koga in the first division got fired for underperformance so it's not real life but I am just saying this is uh this is pretty wild here so that's it I want to just come back and just give you guys a heads up about what my plans are I'm thinking that the next game that we take on here I'm gonna scooch this along I feel like the next game that we could probably do that will will look it'll look like a a good game. I think this we should be playing Nasted and then Silkeborg. It's either gonna be Nasted or Silkeborg, or 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 um we'll play the two new boys home and away. Ours Fremont and then Middlefart. So I think it'll be one of these two, and I'm I'm gonna. Just judge that based on how the league goes on and just how we play. But yeah, it's either going to be uh, it's either going to be against Nasved and Silkeborg or it's going to be against Aros Fremad and Middlefart. I will make that judgment as the game goes on. So I wanted to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the Youth Intake Hall of Fame Challenge. I am Jack City. And once again, this is a good brand Christensen story. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Anything else uh, that maybe we could improve? You never know. We made, we've made quite a few changes uh, to the team. So, you know, always need just a little bit of help because this is a difficult save to play. So thank you and have a good one.